Hey everyone, what is up? It is I, DPX. I'm here back again with another video. Uh, yeah, that Cobra Kai video I made uh, took me a while. Uh, I was gone from uploading for two entire weeks and I uploaded that and then here's another video. Alright, you guys didn't come to hear me talk about my upload schedule though. You guys uh, clicked on the video because you saw NFT in the title and thumbnail. I don't know what the thumbnail is going to be, but uh... Most likely has something to do with the NFTs in the thumbnail because this video is about NFTs. What am I? Well, let's just get into this. Before we do that, you know what to do: subscribe, uh, hit the bell, leave a comment, like the video, or I will turn you into an NFT. And trust me, I know how to do that. How do you do that? You don't want to know. Just, just subscribe, okay? Now I didn't originally want to talk about NFTs. I was going to talk about it on my podcast one episode, uh, but that was the episode I canceled because I, I just wasn't feeling it for personal reasons. Um, I didn't feel like talking for an hour that day, so, um, and, but I kind of left it at that because what about NFTs has not already been said? Well, there were two major NFT announcements that I think uh, got me to make this video one was like last week where atari announced that they are making nft loot boxes which sounds like the worst like thing ever um and then this is literally like what minutes after reading about this nintendo are reportedly considering making nfts now what is an nft uh, well, it stands for non-fundable token, and basically, it's a, I mean, a simplified version of what it is. Basically, you're spending money on a, a picture. That's at least my understanding of it. Uh, it's probably a little more than that. I know it's, like, hurtful to the environment. I, I'm not entirely sure. I don't know everything about NFTs, and... If I'm going to be honest, this isn't going to sound good for this video, but if I'm going to be honest, I don't care. Um, it becomes an issue, though, when uh, video game companies like this are making, are using NFTs and are probably going to incorporate them into their games somehow. You know, it started with, like, Ubisoft, how they uh, announced their NFT that got, like, disliked into an oblivion. Um... Thanks to that, uh, to, to YouTube removing dislikes, though, uh, they didn't feel the burn, if you know what I mean. Uh, then Square Enix announced, uh, some NFTs, and then some other people, I, f I feel like Ubisoft announced NFTs, I could be wrong. Uh, then, uh, uh, Troy Baker, who, uh, isn't a video game company, but he's a, uh, you know, he's very synonymous with video games, um, voices a lot of video game characters. Uh, announced his line of NFTs, but recently like canceled them. So good on him. Then Square Enix announced uh, some NFTs. Or did I say that already? Shit. Yeah, no, I did say that already. I'm sorry. I'm unscripted, if, in case you guys couldn't tell. Um, and then uh, Atari, as I mentioned, made their announced their NFTs loot boxes, which again sounds awful. And then Nintendo are reportedly allegedly working on NFTs, which um, is sort of the uh, thing I want to talk about. First of all, I just want to say I am a huge Nintendo fan, all right? Nintendo is my favorite video game company, and I don't even think it's close. Like, the second, my second favorite's probably PlayStation or, I don't know, Capcom. But, like, Nintendo is way above either of them. There is, like, some sort of, I guess stereotype i guess i can call i don't know if that's the correct word but that nintendo fans always defend nintendo and i've seen some posts about like oh these nintendo fanboy fanboys are gonna um you know they're gonna talk about they're gonna make up excuses as to why nintendo are allowed to make nfts uh when no other game company is and i as a nintendo fanboy myself uh, my favorite game is smash and this channel is mostly a Smash channel. I am letting you know right now, uh, the thought of Nintendo making NFTs, uh, gives me, you know, I want, I, I want to throw up to that. <laughs> like, I did, 
it actually just doesn't make me feel good. When I saw, when I read that, I'm like, no, 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 please can I, uh, take one of those antacid, uh, medication things. I don't feel so good now. Um, so, yeah, that was sort of my reaction to that. And I didn't read too much into it because I didn't want to actually vomit. By the way, I'm just letting you guys know, I didn't actually feel like I was going to vomit. But it did make me feel good reading that. Um, but, look, I originally didn't really understand the, like, hatred behind NFTs. I mean, I understood they're fucking stupid. They shouldn't be a thing. The, and they are hurtful to the environment. And it's a waste of money. Uh, it's, it's basically a get-rich-quick scam. Uh, but... I mean, at the same time, people aren't that stupid to buy a picture, right? Well, first of all, people are, and second of all, the way NFTs are being utilized and who's utilizing them is what is really pissing me off and what I can see. Now I understand why a lot of pe other people are pissing off, getting pissed off. Uh, I mentioned all the video game companies that are doing it. I mentioned couldn't. I didn't mention Konami. Uh, they're doing a uh, Castlevania NFT to celebrate Castlevania's what 35th anniversary. Uh, instead of you know making a new game, uh, celebrate with NFTs. It's just it's a way for game companies to make money in a cheap way and a manipulative way. This is this is like the this is gonna be the new microtransaction. It's gonna be the new loot boxes. I hate to say it, but the the good side to that is, you know, loot boxes that they, they became such an issue in video games that it sort of died down lately. I mean, don't get me wrong, games still have loot boxes in them, but they're not as like they're not as manipulative and as predatory as they were when like uh, you know, Star Wars Battlefront 2 came out. That's gonna happen with NFTs, but it's it's a little different this time because it's not just gaming companies, you know. I've also heard a lot of YouTubers have like gotten their likenesses stolen for NFTs, and they have like no say in it. They like they don't even get any money from it. Uh, if I I just if I was turned into an NFT, I would be uh pretty pissed. I'm I'm gonna be honest. Um, I, so I'm not. So I don't get why these companies, like actually I do get why these companies want to do NFTs, cause they make money, they're an easy way to make money, and the people that fall for it, fall for it hard, you know, they like, they, they, they'll make an entire collection of NFTs, I've, I've heard people, I've heard of people with big ass NFT collections, and it's like, why? What, what are you getting out of this? You want a poster? You want like a the, buy a poster, or you want like a picture? Did you see that NFT that you are uh, hovering over? Here's what you do. Uh, whatever, if you're on your phone or your uh, you, you're on your uh, PC, hit print screen, and there you go. If you're on your phone, do whatever you need to do to take a screenshot. Do the screenshot button. There you go, you have the NFT. And look, you got it for free. You didn't spend 200 fucking dollars or however much. I think that might even be more, I could be wrong. But you didn't spend hundreds of dollars on a picture. Uh, and, and you're also, you know, not damaging the environment. So, yeah, those were just my two cents on uh, NFTs and video game companies using them. And, uh, I don't know, this video, I don't know what this video was, to be honest, uh, but if, if you enjoyed it, be sure to give it a thumbs up, and subscribe if you're new, hit the bell, and leave a comment, or else I will turn you into an NFT. And you won't be getting any money from it either, alright? Bye, guys!